good day to all of you i am asiv ram former senior executive with 47 years of experience for sashas i paper and boards limited e road i am very glad to meet you all once again in this video in this video we will be discussing about problem solving tools for addressing repeated problems there are two commonly used tools to solve repeated problems they are cause and effect diagram that is fish bone diagram root cause analysis that is yy analysis before using these tools we must do first do a brainstorming exercise how to do brainstorming brainstorming is a group activity where each participant shares his ideas as soon as they come to his mind focus on large number of ideas don't criticize others ideas any idea is welcome encourage employ employees to think creatively out of the box and encourage them to share the ideas with others no idea is to be ridiculed after generating various ideas or solutions then begin discussing and then narrow them down narrow them to the best options transform the ideas into solutions by doing rca what is cause and effect diagram or fishbone diagram fishbone diagram is also called as ishikawa diagram diagram in japanese it is it is to visually map cause and effect points with a fishbone diagram this helps us to identify possible major and minor causes for a problem by encouraging us to follow various various potential causes until we end up at the right one methodology how to use cause and effect diagram and yy analysis for repeated problems first understand well and define the problem next using the fishbone diagram write all the possible major and minor causes against the respective category man machine method etc select the most appropriate major cause and do yy analysis till you arrive at the root cause finally break take corrective action to eliminate the root cause of the problem so that it does not recur again This slide explains what is cause and effect. Example of cause is given as burning of fossil fuels like petrol or diesel during vehicle transportation, transportation like cars and lorries, etc. The the effect is given as carbon emission gets trapped in the atmosphere, heating up the earth like greenhouse. This leads to global warming. Now let's see what cause and effect diagram is actually. What is it? Cause and effect diagram is an analysis tool to find out the potential or actual causes of a problem in a systematic and organized way. It is a very effective tool for improving the quality of product or service. Fishbone diagram is most commonly used in manufacturing and allows you to organize potential major or minor causes of a problem against the following categories: man, machine, material, methods, measurements and environment. This is the empty format of a fishbone diagram. This is a structured brainstorming tool using categories to explore the root causes for an undesired effect that is problem. In the head part of the fish you need to write down the problem and in the fishbone parts you need to fill in the categories and the possible major and minor causes against each category. This is another empty format where you can fill in the the relevant informations in the in the boxes given the fish bone diagram save this slide for filling the important informations this this is an example of a filled in fish bone diagram with possible major and minor causes for addressing the quality problems go through this slide and understand well how it is filled in with the relevant information similarly you need to fill in the possible major and minor causes against each category do brainstorming with your team and find out the most relevant major cause for the problem then start doing yy analysis for the problem to arrive at the root cause of the problem so that it can be eliminated by taking corrective actions This is another filled in fishbone diagram with the possible major and minor causes for low operating low operating profit problem. 
follow the instruction mentioned in the previous slide for finding out the possible relevant major cause for the problem for this slide also. Let's see the possible causes for a non-conformity that is defect or problem due to MUN factors. MUN have incorrect knowledge. MUN have incorrect knowledge of setting up machines, careless operator or inadequate supervision by the supervisor, undue rush by the operator to achieve quality targets, lack of understanding of the SOP standard operating procedure relating to a process, not following SOPs, operator does not possess requisite skill for operating machines. Now let's see what are the possible causes due to machine factor. Overloading of the machine, incorrectly designed machine, worn out parts of the machine, no spare parts for replacing, poor quality maintenance, no preventive maintenance. These are some of the causes. What are the possible causes due to method factor? Inadequate process controls, non availability of proper testing equipment, testing equipment not calibrated, vague ins inspection or testing instructions. Checking inspector do not possess the necessary skill, not following SOPs, very few number of testing, testing results not uh, communicated late. What are the possible causes due material factor? Use of untested materials, mix of materials, substandard material accepted on concession because of unavailability of the correct material, inconsistency in specification on the part of vendors, expired in process chemicals, screening or sorting of materials not proper. What are the possible causes due to measurement factor? Damaged instruments like pressure gauges, vacuum gauges, dial thermometers, flow meters, ammeters, etc. Operative range for the process are not marked on the instruments, unreliable instruments, instruments not calibrated, missing instruments, no free access to, ins to instruments to view the readings. What are the possible causes due to environment factor? Some the factors are humidity, poor lighting, insufficient ventilation, dust prone areas, high noise area, heat due to insufficient insulation, no exhaust fan, leakages, seepages, and spillages of foreign matters. Having done cause and effect study, we need to do root cause why why analysis also to arrive at the real root cause of the problem. Let's learn more of root cause why why analysis. Starting stating that we have we are having no problem is the biggest problem of all. In all in any organization, numerous problems exist in all the activities, example raw material and other inputs, process, product and services. The efficiency and a survival of the argument depends on how promptly these problems are recognized and their root causes are isolated and eliminated. View the problems not as a negative but as a Kaizen opportunity in disguise. Whenever problems arise, encourage to investigate the problem at the source and to ask five, five, five times about every matter to solve the problem earliest. In a series of events involving MUN machine materials method, measurements, environment, undoubtedly mistakes will happen. What typically happens in response to mistakes, no one takes responsibility and the blame is thrown around. The better approach is to identify the root cause of all mistakes and attacking them instead of what might be perceived as their cause. Perceived causes are most likely symptoms and not the root cause in which case the problem can never be really solved. This approach, which is more rigorous and long-lasting, helps to solve problems quickly. The 5 Ys method is a technique for analyzing problems within an organ. It involves identifying a problem and asking why until you determine the main cause of the issue. Using the 5 Ys as the framework, Teams can investigate why a problem occurred through in-depth questioning and analysis. Companies can apply the five methods or why method for troubleshooting, quality improvement, process analysis. The six steps to eliminating five why methods. 
six steps to implementing 5Y method. First, assemble a team. If you are trying to solve a problem in your manufacturing, bring in people who work at the factory, have experience with the system in place, and have first hand knowledge of the situation. Identify the problem correctly. The problem you are trying to solve should be singular and clearly defined. Avoid trying to solve multiple problems through the same line. Instead, focus on a single problem which can lead to several causes and possible solutions. Next, ask why. Determine the initial cause of the problem you are examining. By careful, be careful to differentiate causes and symptoms. A cause is a reason why something happened, whereas a symptom is the manifestation that is exhibit of the problem. Use facts, group discussion, and first-hand knowledge rather than opinions or, or, or assumptions. Continue, continually ask why. Keep asking why until you find the root cause or causes of the problem. Even though the method is called five whys in practice, you can ask why, why as many as many times as you need to uncover a problem, problems underlying cause. You should continue your questioning until you come up with the helpful answers. Next, make an action plan. The 5Y method includes developing countermeasures that work to prevent problems from happening in the future. Share the learning with others for, from doing this RCA so that this will help them also to find out the uh, root cause for similar problems. Next, evaluate results. Create a system for measuring the defectiveness of the corrective action taken. If the corrective action is not sustained and you face the same problem again, then the identified root cause is not correct. You need to find out the other possible main causes and do YY analysis again. We need to address the root cause and not the symptoms for the for a permanent solution. In the picture above the, above the surface, you see the symptoms of the problem. You need to dig deeper to find out the root cause of the problem. This is the blank format for doing YY analysis. The relevant information like problem to be solved, write down the row, cause, why it has happened, action taken, and ultimately the lesson learned ought to be or to be filled in and written in this format. This is a sample of a filled in YY analysis format. Problem is the pizza delivery boy delivered the pizza late to the customers because his bike stopped for want of petrol. As a result, the pizza company incurred a loss of 5000 for the free pizza given to the customers since they were delivered late. The company had a guarantee that if pizzas, are, if pizzas are not delivered in time, the customer need not pay, pizza will be free. Root cause analysis was done and it was found that the delivery boy did not obtain money in the morning for buying petrol from for his bike from the manager since he came uh, late for duty. L learning from this uh, episode is the delivery boy should come to duty in time or little earlier and get money from manager for buying petrol for the bike before delivery pizzas to the customer, thereby no delay in the delivery time to the customers. Some examples of blank YY formats are given in the subsequent slides too. You can choose the format suitable to you. This is one of the uh, uh, blank uh, YY analysis format. This is a duly filled in YY format. This, this man is caught uh, speeding his vehicle while going for work since he woke up late. The root cause was he did not replace the worn out batteries in this alarm clock. Learning is either go in for plug in alarm clock or have a system to periodically replace the batteries in the clock. Do not wait till the batteries are dead. This is another example of filled in YY analysis format. Here the problem is a vehicle is not getting started. The main cause is the battery is dead since the alternator drive belt is found cut. Root cause is the vehicle is not maintained according to the recommended service schedule. This is another example of YY format. The format here, is, the problem here is that the conveyor belt in the main production line has stopped. The main cause is the motor got burned due to overload. Root cause is knowledge about the permissible 
maximum load the motor can take was missing. There should be an overload red line marking in the emitter as of the motor. This is another example of a YY format. Probably here is said about uh, highlighted about a foul smell in the office. Main cause was dead diesel found in the air conditioner vent since since root cause root cause is that preventive maintenance on the AC was not done for the past 8 months. Lesson is preventive maintenance should be taken once in 6 months without fail. Just for fun, RCA was done for Ramayana while management lecturer was discussing the importance of maintaining quality. We all know Rama went to spend 14 years in forest and Sita was kidnapped because of a quality issue. How these anything to you? How these is these anything to do with quality? During a military campaign, the wheel of Dasarada's chariot broke and his wife Kaikei inserted her finger to hold the wheel in place. Touched by the courage and timely service, Dasarada offered her two boons. As a result, Dasarada offered his wife Kaigei two boons and she chose to make use of them in the future. On the day of Rama's uh, crowning, she decided to use the boons and wanted her son to be the king. So she asked Dasar to send Rama to forest and crown her son instead, uh, reminding me of his promised two boons. What is the root cause of this episode? The quality of Chari's wheel was not up to the mark, leading to sending Rama to forest and kidnapping of Sita by Ravana. So why? So using the why 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 technique, we see the quality is very important. If the quality of Chari's wheel was good, Ramayana wouldn't have have happened. Example of cause and effect diagram combining with why why analysis. Problem is here in this uh, cause and effect diagram. Problem is high pH in the boiler drum. Major causes are given in yellow shade and minor causes are, uh, are given in brown shade. Quality DMO was identified as the most possible cause among the major causes for high pH in the boiler drum. Next, YY analysis was also done to find out the root cause for the high pH in the boiler drum. It was found the DM unit was not monitored closely and regeneration of the unit was also not done as per schedule. Please go through these YY analysis and understand fully well. Benefits of doing RCA Fast reaction time Root cause analysis allows you to re uh, react quickly to solve problems and prevent additional issues. Your decision making process will be better and faster too. Next is future problem prevention. Once you use fishbone diagram and perform a y 5Y analysis and take the steps to keep problems from recurring, you may be able to recognize and solve problems sooner which helps prevent problems from, from occurring in the future also helps to achieve zero ABCD that is zero accident, zero breakdown, zero customer growth, and zero defects. We come to the concluding part. Thank you all for your patience hearing. If you like to view my previous videos on 5 years concepts, TPM, ISO and Greenco, please search learning with Sivaram in YouTube or in Google and click the icon plant in as shown in this slide so that my videos can be viewed in sequence. If you like this video please don't forget to press the like image and click the subscribe and bell icon in the YouTube for viewing my future videos. Please share among your friends and others who will also be benefited. Once again thank you all. Have a nice day.